guys, it is Zytal Sunny, and as you can see, we have a different intro today. That is because I did not like the old intro. I didn't like the music. I didn't like how there was both an intro and an outro taking up space in my gallery. And I also didn't like the way it looked and how low quality it was and how... You know, it's only like 750p when I'm now using, you know, 1080p stuff. And yeah, I, I just didn't like it, so I made a new one. I hope you guys like the new one. I hope it isn't too insufferable, but yeah. And in this video, I'm just going to be talking over this speed paint of Piccolo from the Dragon Ball franchise. And yeah, I would also like you guys to know that I have both an Instagram and a DeviantArt account now. I just recently made the DeviantArt account after like an entire year of not having one. And then I've had the Instagram account since like December, but I don't think a lot of people know about it. So yeah, um, those links will be in the description. So my DeviantArt account is basically where I'll do all the commissions and art requests and, you know, more personal stuff. And it's also where you can see the full drawings and, you know, in their highest quality. Because on Instagram, everything is squares and it's awkward. So, yeah, the art might be a little bit better for looking at my art, but Instagram is just a platform that most people use. So I'm there too if you want to, you know follow me somewhere. But yeah, I've rambled too much about those things. Let's actually talk about something a little bit different today. So as some of you guys know, Wednesday was like my first day of high school. I am a ninth grader. And in my drama class, there was actually somebody named Akira. And the only thing I could think of when I heard her name was Akira Toriyama. That's why I could remember her name so well. And speaking of Akira Toriyama, um, Akira Toriyama made Dragon Ball Z, and I had no idea that Toei Animation actually worked for Miraculous Ladybug. Wow, um, I got so sidetracked, I just went from, like, three different topics to a different one. Anyway, so, talking about Toei Animation and Miraculous Ladybug. So, while doing research for a video that was never released because, you know, YouTube was having processing issues... It was going to be another Characters I've Never Drawn Before episode, and I was going to be drawing Chat Noir because it was requested, so I did it. And honestly, it was super easy because Chat Noir has a very simple design, but it's a very memorable design and very iconic in my opinion. Very nice. Anyway, talking about Miraculous, so you know, I finished a Chat Noir drawing, and then I was like, I don't know who else to draw now, but I need to come up with two more characters to draw for this video, so I looked up popular animes to try and get some ideas. And while looking for popular animes, I saw Miraculous Ladybug listed, and I was confused because I just thought it was a 3D animated French cartoon. I mean, I heard that in earlier stages of development it was going to be a more anime-inspired 2D form, but I didn't really think anything else of it. But then, like I said, I went to the wiki page and did some more research about Miraculous and realized, oh wait, Toei Animation actually still works on it. And I was surprised that that it's technically an anime. Japanese animation companies are working on it. I was honestly shocked because like I said, I just thought it was a 3D animated French cartoon that was going to be an anime in its earlier stages. But you know, that was a nice surprise. So I guess Miraculous Ladybug is technically an anime? I need to put that on my anime ranking list on my memo notepad. But yeah, so that was something new I learned. And with all this mention of Akira Toriyama and Toei Animation and, you know, Piccolo being drawn in the background, we might as well bring up Dragon Ball Z. And, you know, I heard from the manga readers that there's actually another saga with a different villain, and that means there should technically be more seasons of Super. So, I'm excited for whenever they start continuing the animation part of the franchise, because... I don't really have the type of resources to really get manga, let alone the latest editions of them and stuff, but 
I do have streaming services, so I would really like to see more Dragon Ball franchise animation. However, I would like to point out that I don't care about the fights in Dragon Ball Z, which I know is kind of a double-edged sword because that's the only thing they ever do. That is the main point of the entire series. All they ever do is fight. It is an action show, and what they mean by action is that all they ever do is fight. A hundred episodes in a row, it's the same fight. Fight, 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 fight. A little bit of filler, then more fight, 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 fight. And then even some of the fighting within itself is filler. But, like I said, that's not the reason why I watch it. I watch it for the characters. Not Goku, not Vegeta, not any of the Saiyans. I honestly think the Saiyans are boring. Like, they were interesting, but, you know, they've had enough time. But I can see why Akira wouldn't, you know, make anybody else the main center of attention. It's always been Goku, so it's gonna be continuing to be Goku. But anyway... Um, the main characters I like from Dragon Ball Z is actually Beerus, Piccolo, Frieza, and Dende. I'm more interested in the alien part and the alien designs, and I really like those characters. I actually liked them so much that I have a Cell First Form plushie hanging from my ceiling, and I also did a simplified chibi painting of Beerus. And as you can see, I still love Dragon Ball Z a lot because I'm drawing this super chibi version of Piccolo in the background right now as I'm talking about it. So, <laughs> I like Dragon Ball Z, just not for the reason that I should. I mean, at least the characters are compelling enough to make me say that gotta say something, right? That, that oughta mean something, right? Anyway... I think another factor into why I like Dragon Ball Z so much is because my dad used to watch it religiously, so he made me watch it religiously. It was something he wanted both of us to like and have, so I watched it with him a lot. Same with Inuyasha. That's that's how I got introduced to Inuyasha was through my dad. My dad loved that show too. Speaking of family members who love watching anime, when I was a child, I didn't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh! and it never aired on any of the channels that I would normally watch. But more recently I got introduced to it thanks to my friend and I started watching the dub because I found it hilarious. But little did I know that when my older brother was a child, he was actually obsessed with Yu-Gi-Oh! And there's actually a sticker of it on his old bed frame that we still have because he moved out. And I just find that absurd that... Somehow, sooner or later, I ended up with the same interests as him, even though he never introduced me to it. My brother got me into Minecraft, he got me into Pixelmon, he got me into Pokemon, he did not get me into Yu-Gi-Oh! I guess that was a short phase for him, but by coincidence, in the future, I also got into it. I just find it crazy. But yeah, 90% of my interests do either come from my older brother or my dad, and, ridiculously enough, I started watching Demon Slayer when I found out that my dad had already been watching Demon Slayer and so was my little sister. I guess just sooner or later, all of us watched the same flippin' stuff without knowing it. <laughs> it's insane. And, you know how I have an Invader Zim obsession. Everybody should know that by now. I started my channel as Tall as Purple based off of one of the characters in Invader Zim. Invader Zim is one of my favorite animated cartoons of all time. Actually, scratch that. It is my favorite animated cartoon of all time. Regardless, though, turns out my dad actually had some of the comics with him, and he used to watch it when he was younger as well. So, I guess this is an extreme case of father-like daughter, even though neither of us really expressed our interest in either to each other, but somehow we both ended up liking it. It's just weird. Family is just weird. Anime is just weird. Everything is just weird. This video is a little bit weird. And this outro is weird. So, I don't have much else to say, guys. So, well, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day, morning, night, whatever time it is when you're watching this. This is the full drawing that I made, and just have a good time, whatever time you're watching this. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys later.